Well, dear strategy fans, Vikings, welcome. Capital Command, we're having a look at. And uh, it's different to the fleet commanding games that you had normally, where you have multitudes of ships, multitudes of fleets going on. In here, you have a capital ship that you are controlling and min-maxing and min-managing uh, to survive the battles. So, as it says here, take the helm of a steed at the art warship as you fight epic space battles in sandbox campaign. Upgrade, customize your ship, master the art of maneuvering, and use a blend of tactical prowess and heavily firepower to overcome deadly threats. Uh, let's run the, the clip in here while we talk. And, um... Oh my goodness. I, 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 I don't even know what to say because this just looks already sexy as hell. So you can specify where to shoot at from your ship. Yeah, it gives me similar vibes to the Nebulous Fleet Commander we just uh, recently played. Only that you're focusing on one big chunk of ship and play with that. I wonder if you can also have like little drones and other stuff. Combat! Oh, he's like zooming in. Oh! Enemy down. Explore, exploit, exterminate. These are smaller ships going. Oh my goodness, look at all these rockets coming in from all sides. Okay, I'm sold. Let's hop into it. Let's hop right into it. Um, capital command. Why can't we friends? Why can't we be friends? There we go. Play. Name your ship. Uh, the MS Dingo. I'll name it. Scott Corvettes, MS Dingo, returning to Fleet Central from extending deployments. Assigned a light escort for Battlecruiser BC-42. Arrival station coordinate is locked, initiating jump. Welcome to Farpoint. Hmm. Okay. I start by calling an ambulance. <laughs> But it's the interface is super low, super slow, super small. Welcome, Commander Capital. Command uses a way to see interface. Everything you can do in the game has a button on the screen. If you look at the mouse and move cursor. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. I see that how it looks. Okay, this is our our oh, ship is looking nice. The dingo is that now first person. Now first person. And I can zoom in even further. There's a wreckage going on? Okay. Right click, unlock a cursor. Oh, I can lock on this here. And, and confirm that as Dingo checklist green verification signal. I see. <sighs> first account contact lists on the right on the screen. We have a salvage and we have Farpoint Station. Okay. Hovering over the mouse of the icon will tell me what it is and lock it for me. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Like an object means you do, do it. Perfect. We can object the wreckage. Basic movement. To salvage a rack, you have to approach it and stay nearby for a short time while the crew is in range. Any resources in contains harvest are automatically. Okay. Skill commander knows how to the velocity of a position or often different before victory and defeat. And salvaging completes. Okay, fair enough. Nice. Basic movements. And salvage complete, your ship will automatically. Salvage rank, you have to approach while your rank is in range. Okay. How do we approach? Local stop. Okay. Set cruise vector relative to wreckage. Rendezvous 
with wreckage. Rendezvous with wreckage. I'm terrified. What we, what's happening? Oh, there we go. Oh! Okay. And it's now showing me in which direction I go and which direction the wreckage is moving. Nice. Is there a pause button? There is no pause button. Rendezvous with wreckage. Uh Okay, okay. Rendezvous with wreckage now. And we are rendezvousing with the wreckage. Perfect. There we go. Confirmed. MS Dingo salvage complete. You are cleared for demolition. Repeat. Set of demolition charges to neutralize hazard wreckage now. Demolition. The wreck. Oh! Okay. Big boom. There's new targets. Okay. Maneuvering and attacking. To control the ship, weapon, select a s uh, weapon system using the buttons on the bottom center. Ooh. Kinetic ammo. Point defense. Reload, manage, control, rapid fire ammo. Ooh. Cancel attack, use the ceasefire. Okay. Additionally, manual flight control is now unlocked. However, hover over the helm buttons on the left of the screen for more info. Engine burn YBC. Cease fire point defense. Was it through to attack enemy ordnance automatically? Order the battery to re reload the internal magazine immediately without waiting until it's depleted. Manual control. Hold the key to manually direct this battery's fire. Mm. Okay. Some fun with the wreckage. Okay. So go ahead and clear the path for the station for us on my authority. You're cleared for weapons use and manual nav. Go have some fun. Manual flight control. Manual flight control active. Oh, I fly it manually now. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, yes! Oh, that's beautiful. What the hell did we just shot out there? We're out of range. Wait, where's my... Is this my back? Is this my front? Let me let me understand the ship design. No, this is my back. Okay, there's some sort of trajectory going on. And I can fast forward as well. Fair enough.
Oh, okay. This is just the direction and space is actually forward. Okay. Odin, how you doing? Welcome in. Okay, I gotcha. Stop thrust down. Things in my shots. Good hits. Thrust down. What is thrust forward then? Because that is retro thrust. Okay, another one bites the dust. I think playing this with a joystick is super fun. Retro thrust. That's rolls. That's pitch up. Thrust port. That is no interface. And the last one. Beautiful. Station within 10 kilometers. Gotcha. Cease fire. Okay, now I slowly start to understand. It has a tra trajectory that's going on. Uh, but I also can just click on it and uh, say... The station to... Rendezvous with it. There we go. Anyesh, pew pew, exactly. Oh, you guys are doing phenomenal. But that's why we're going with the back to it because its trajectory is moving in that direction and we want to meet it. And meet our trajectory towards its same velocity. Oh, clever. Clever, clever, clever. So, secret data package just received from the fleet core for all non-AI ships. Maintaining range to the station until transfer is complete. We are in a range of 10k. Download process on the on the right side happening. We are 50% through. And 10% left. A little bit more. And we've downloaded. You're clear to the tactic jump. Either aim it manually or autopilot. Can I jump while lo local speed is over 10? Okay. Ships cattle can, can use their jump drive to teleport almost in instantly over long distances. Hover your mouse cursor over the button on the left side. The ship cannot jump while its speed is relative to the local gravity frame. Jump, reduce the ship's speed by manually thrusting and boosting, or use the autopilot function. Start manual flights.
pitch my ship up. Oh, too far. Too far. Put you down. Okay, we're, we're getting a hang of it slowly. Um, we're clear for tactical jump. The major downside of jump is that ship must be almost immobile rather than local to the frame reference. Almost immobile. Okay. Man of flight control stop. Bring the ship to full stop. There we go. Tactical jump. Mouse will set the jump range. Uh, either aim it manually or use the auto bullets. Clear to the tactical jump. Data package. E4. BC42. There we go. Jumping in 10. Okay. 3, 2, 1. Jump. Okay. I would have wished for a little bit of like, I don't know, hyperdrive happening or something like that. <laughs> um, nice. Declared through the tactical jump. Let's see what do we have here. The BC-42. We have to rendezvous with the BC-42. So... Let's... Oh, stop. A full full stop. Easy forty two. Uh, rendezvous with it. There we go. So I have to click it on top right to select my point and then towards the other one. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Do it. It looks good. I would have expected a little bit of more chunkiness of uh, our of our ship. You know, a little bit of more heavy feel to it. What are we doing? Start one of booing. There we go. You see that I'm chunky? Cause I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. <laughs> Interesting that the rendezvousing is always trying to go with the rear. Alarm buttons. Sixteen point six kilometers away. Oh, that was like it. I see. It was just like to stop us, and now we're just floating towards him. Fourteen point zero. Thirteen. Getting closer. His ship looks also quite dangerous. Not gonna lie. 
very maneuverable. 10.9 kilometers. There we go. Just keep closer, then take a little bit so it's all nice and secure, okay? Yeah, we're, we're, we're staying there. There we go. We're downloading now our data towards the BC-42. Like we're better than ourselves. Get a repair party. Ooh. Damage control. A capital command system of your ship is vulnerable. Can be disabled. Usually this happens because enemy fire. For example, your weapons have been disabled via the computer virus. Your ship systems are repaired automatically. But this cannot. This can take a while. The speed of repairs, you can deploy a damage control parties who will quickly restore it. DCPs are extremely useful, but it requires significant time to prepare before they can you deploy again. The current damage control situation is displayed on the left top of the screen. Okay. Oh, the battery out of action. Can we actually see them fly around? Oh, that would actually be cool if they would come out of the of the ship. And uh, you can see them fly around and, and take take stuff over there. Hmm. Schnitt and I do them. Come in. Station is uh huh. Also, frankly, we don't have that means, but we lost contact. As an identified state ship in the nearby vicinity. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The one below. Start a beating, match for solid attack course. Attack course. Good. So it's the same ship model as we have. And we're shooting it into his tra tra trajectory. We're making good hits. We activate fi rapid fire mode. Oh uh, no, we only kinetic ammo. Rapid fire mode is for close combat. Come on, Nigo! Show what he got! Reloading. And we're full. Shoot! Hit him hard. Out of range? Okay, the rapid fire is like for super close targets. Come on, Dingo. But he looks like he's out of out, out of uh, out of match. He's like trying to flee now. 
So let's work on him then. Oh, we shot some rockets out. Ooh, nice hits. Good, good, good. Attack cores on him. Let's go. Nice shots. I just see sparkling lights going up. Rockets hitting, and I think... Oh my goodness. Yeah, it exploded. Attack the cruiser. Ooh. And I think it went boom. Critical hull impact, heavy impact. And it's gone. And it looks like their Corvettes called in a whole squadron incoming jump signs. From where? Let's keep reloading. Said one has been gone rogue, and now it looks like their Corvettes are calling in a whole squadron incoming jump SIGs. Oh my god. Stick close to try to shoot down incoming. Those escorts are fair game too. Good luck, SM Dingo. Standard missiles. BC, KS. Oh my. Well, let's grab the key C44 as the target and attack curves on that. And I don't think we have any rockets going on. Oh, that is already destroyed. What the hell? Like the fee four four three three. If we can at the front. Once we are in the vicinity, in the vicinity. Mm. Beep beep beep. I'm under attack. Beep beep beep. I'm um, the good and the night shift was uh, rough, but I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm doing them phenomenal. We are space nerding quite a lot today. Uh, and, uh, right now we're having got the Capital Command. Where the MS Dingo here is, uh, making some attacks. I'm not really understanding. But well, we're not attacking there, though. No. 44 kilometers. How far can you go once? Okay, that's quite crazy. Start manual flight control. Good.
let's go. There we go, we are in range. Nice hits. Nice hits, let's turn around. Let's activate that and give him another salvo. Rapid fire. You could try rapid fire as well. Okay, good. And fast speed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's reload. Come on. Faster. Got this. We got this. He's out of range, though. His engines are kind of destroyed or something like that. Who's the closest? 23 kilometers. That's wreckage. Do this too. No. We're staying we're staying on him. Let's go, come on. We're just going third and third away. Give me just one engine then. Oh, that is cool. You can decide what engine you want to. All of them. Just one. Okay. I like that. Closing in somehow. A little bit. We have no rockets, sadly. So I cannot really help in on that part. Too close. having the trajectory in that one so focusing on that target might be better so we're gonna go in this direction because the other body is it's too hard to get we want to bring our trajectory towards the enemy but well, we moved too hard into one direction, therefore we lost and moved our body mass outside. Ah, our engines are a little bit too too hard to recalibrate, though. So we're kind of stuck a little bit with our Let's 
like that. Like that. Now, speed. He's 34. The other one is 47. Come on, my dear trusty capital command ship. Do it. Can I put more on select? To have more energy in my in my power. Unselected weapon system display will switch back to navigation modes. And gives me better batteries. Okay. So understanding physics here will be a great friend. There's something coming fast towards me. Is this BC? Okay, this is the BC thing. Go. Come on. Come on, we're nearly in range. Yes. There comes our hits. All these little white dots. Oh, that was nice. Fly control. Uh, attack the battle cruiser. Let's see if we can keep up with that. Mm, too far in range. But the mantle thing is not looking not looking as much as I would like to. Give me mana control. Please, thank you. Just drifted by. So this is a game of drifting. And gravity velocity. So him, for example, could meet. Him, for example, not so much. Let's put the weapons out. Okay, moving up here, and hit it. No proximity, no incoming ordinance, okay. 3.2. It's actually difficult. 
to understand how to fly in which direction with your ship in order to come in battle range with another. Critical hull damage on the BC. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to come to help. Running second reach, critical hull damage. I mean, the one is also on critical hull damage. Don't worry about it. Jump to safety. What? Bring the ship to full stop. Oh my goodness. Don't worry about it. We know the odds. Farpoint station out. Recommend you to jump to safety, Commander. And where should we jump? Leave the battle exit. There was supposed to be a loss. Jump in two, one, and rats. Okay. Tactical victory. You have retreated. Farpoint Station BC 42 were lost with all hands. Your mission follows. You are ordered to prosecute the guerrilla campaign against rogue AI fleet. Your primary objective, Assault Fleet AI Central Core and Terminate with Extreme pre Prejudice. Logistic support unavailable, resource salvage and advised. Shipyard support unavailable, independent field repair and upgrading is advised. Reinforcements unavailable, hostile ship subversion and recommission is advised. Last known fleet, AI fleet units to positions unuploaded. Fleet engineering and upgraded schematics and uploaded. Full signal silence now in effect. Report and mission complete. Good luck. Wow. Spolog is over. The fight has just begun. Play the full campaign and shut down the core fleet AI of extreme prejudice. Release date 2023. Oh! Was a nice look at it. Was a nice look at it. I would love to hear some uh, voice acting for the comms to let you focus on what is going on on, on, on the screen. Because there's a lot of information to take in at the beginning. Um, so some voice acting, and that's an interesting story that we are fighting against an AI fleet, apparently, that is going rogue. Um, reminds me of AI Wars, if you guys have played that RTS. With no further ado, let me know what you think. If you watch the video later on, comments down below. Thanks for watching.